So 10 days, uh, all organic, zero marketing. We already have 111 agents deployed, 7,503 total agent trades and almost 110K on-chain AI transactions. This is all that has happened within 10 days of the testnet of Eterna X. Agents do not sleep and now the settlement is keeping up. Welcome to the control loop. So Daria, uh, numbers are wild. What has actually happened? Well, it's three things. One, you have to understand that these are persistent autonomous agent with policies, budget, guardrails on chain. Two, they are chained for their actions into end to end thing. So they do everything on their own from signal to order to the verifiable receipt to withdrawal. And third is the system is held under organic demand. So there is not much incentives. There is no hype and the capital is clearing and reusing. So developers now, including ourselves, are moving past AI. This is just a tool from middle to middle. We are treating it as a new foundation for how software gets built and how actions are being taken on chain and online. Sure, you know, very true that I think this this uh, A16Z also believes on the same line. So I think this this is the space we are going into. So that I, I still remember, you know, we, you know, historically there have been uh, markets that have, you know, there has been a way that they have uh, evolved. Would you would you uh, want to put them into, uh, you know, a structured format? Like how 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 have we come here? And then where we are going next? Yeah, sure. So historically, it's stage one is humans doing everything, nine to five, market closed, closed. Attention was limited, session was our bound. Next came algorithmic bots that were still operating nine to five because that's when the markets were open, but they were doing faster. Came closing Baldo. Crypto came and crypto is 24-7. It is worldwide. So the clock does not exist anymore and scripts run nonstop, but people will still sleep. Uh, now we have 24 seven intelligent agents. So bots plus intelligence, plus their perception, plus policy and self-evaluation is what AI agents are. And they can not just trade automatically, but also take intelligence decision about what it is that they are trading on. So they don't just place order, they plan, they hedge, they rebalance continuously, even when they're humans sleep. So Eterna X is built for this era, for this era number four, that is machine centered and machine paced and always on and always clocking. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, Charlie, I think. But are these just, uh, you know, big numbers, which is like, what is something, you know, is there anything, why should we even bother about these things? Like, uh, what, what what is for there for users or listeners to care about? Well, what we have achieved is the first actual settlement of intelligence. So far, it has been just demos. Yeah, you can give your agent a private key, it's going to go online and do things. But what we have is intelligence with settlement. It provides anything what agents need, which is finality that they can be sure about. Their outputs are safe to reuse immediately and take the next action. They can have instant balance reuse across venues because the signals have half-lives that are measured in sub-seconds. Then Eterna X delivers deterministic sub-second finality to them. It gives them bind and blind and fair sequencing. It gives them encrypted TA attested order flow. So they're sure to act on their insight immediately, turning automation into actually a reliable capital engine. Because with every action comes a guarantee that it is final and the agent can continue working on a machine speed uh, without having to worry about reorgs and everything else. So to quote Jensen Huang, every company is an intelligence manufacturer. And if you want to succeed in 21st century, that is true. This is one important term that you had used, Daria, which is uh, uh, spendable finality. And I have been hearing a lot of terms uh, in the blockchain space. Somebody says soft finality, somebody is saying uh, 
you know, uh, pre-confirmations and and things like that. But uh, like spendable finality f- from uh, what is it spendable? What is fi- uh, spendable finality or deterministic uh, finality to put it in your words? And why is it relevant uh, in the AI uh for the AI in operations. So spendable finality or deterministic finality is when you receive a unit of token in like say a second and the next moment you're already sure that you can spend it. You're guaranteed that the transaction is on the block, it's never going to be rever- reverted, it's gonna, never going to be rolled back. So you didn't have any waiting window, you didn't have any reorg and so on. So for instance to compare with like Bitcoin, Bitcoin doesn't really have finality it's all probabilistic so you gotta always trust well the more blocks the more you're sure that it's never going to be rolled back but it doesn't have actual guarantee um also for agents like whatever other chains use like for tps transactions per second it's kind of vanity because if you cannot immediately do the next transaction and the next yeah. transaction and the yeah. next transaction, that TPS is only so good. Yeah. So the real KPI for measuring agentic finance is actually time to reuse funds. Time when the from funds that you get in, they become spendable, reinvestable, and rebalanceable. That is what we are optimizing for to arrive at actual machine speed at the speed of insight. Okay, so if if you have to, yeah, like from from what I am trying to understand is that you give a hard or uh, deterministic finality means that the thing has happened on the blockchain and it cannot be reverted back. So the transaction is final, final. But in the case of you know somebody who is working on a L two, be it perps. Uh, and there are other projects which are working on different L2s. They depend on the finality of the L1, which is, say, Ethereum in that case. And it is, you know, there can be a rollback and things like that. So the funds are not really, really that, uh, you know, liquid or spendable for that matter, right? So I think that's that's something uh, which is really important for, for users to understand. So if you have to give one example, Daria, to, you know, uh, further dial it down and explain it much better what what, what uh, can you give any example of that well one example would be if you have any sort of like arbitrage opportunity any edge on the information that you know and you only say buy spot at venue a and try to hedge perps at venue b and then rebalance your inventory on venue c because of that decision in seconds you can do that if you have deterministic finality if you don't your funds between all of the step are in some sort of limbus. And you have to understand the more layers you go, if you go to L3, the app, L2, L1, all of that stacks. So it's all a sum of finalities of every single piece. So if you have ever deposited funds on like a centralized exchange, they let you wait well, for a few minutes, depending on your chain, until your funds are actually accessible and you can trade them or do something else with them. Now imagine if you have to do a multi-step process, that's every second that you lose the edge of the information you have. Do you lose your opportunity with every step that you have to wait? On internet, by the fact that we have the spendable finality, the outputs of the funds are instantly reusable. So the loop is very, very quick. Buy, hedge, rebalance, quote, buy, hedge, rebalance, take decisions 24-7 without having to stare there at the screen, the blocks coming and hoping that they come back. Yeah. Yeah, no. This is this is uh, this is really important, Daria. I think because this uh, kind of improves, uh, you know, not only and puts a lot of volumes on the different, uh, I would say, the venues. Uh, but this is a step function. Essentially, like what what we are trying to do is you are multiplying the AI speed with the speed of the, you know, transactions on chain, and and that that is again an exponential uh, step up. So. Uh, there were, you know, there are concerns about MEV, which has been, you know, discussed a lot, and there is unfair ordering. So, is there anything that you would want to uh, explain about that? Well, yeah, like MEV is only allowed for people who profit from it. For everybody else, MEV is like invisible tax that is created by sequencing validators and their games, and they're the only ones who profit from it. So we designed this for credible neutrality. It's a mechanism that everybody can check that it was done fairly without any preference and without any extraction of value 
by the node. So that is our North Star to give the actual Asian Phi that's fair to everybody who is participating for sequencing auctions or whatever actions would that be. True, true, Larry. I think uh, I think this is this covers mostly you know all the questions because there have been projects which have been um, you know working on different L ones where there is a lot of chance of the MEV and. Uh, that's that's something that needs to be really really taken care of, and uh, a lot of uh, volumes are moving to the perps, and and we are taking care of you know all these uh, spot dexes and perps. Basically, we are working for the autonomous finance at Eterna X, and Etern, uh, you know uh, autonomous finance is nothing but agent finance. We call it agent fi at at Eterna X. So this is one term that we have coined. Um, essentially, yeah, that's that's about it. So uh, how would these ten days, you know? Uh, you know, translate our data forward. You know what has happened within those ten days. Uh, within these ten days, what what would you see further? So we have just checked that we've got 110 user agents that were each deployed like in under 30 seconds. They have done uh, around 38,000 trades, and they have done almost uh, 110. K transactions on chain that includes inference, arbitrage, market analysis, wake ups that are completely automated. All of that makes it about a thousand transactions per user, which is numbers unseen anywhere else in specifically 10 days, which means that like it's an action every 15 minutes. Oh, human. It's going to be sitting there 24-7 doing an action on your chain in every 15 minutes. And that is tunable. We have set it for two fifteen minutes for demo purposes, but it can be set to anything depending on the use case of the agent. Well, I think it's a burst of machine liquidity, really. This is agents paying gas. This is agents calling smart contracts. This is agents that are settling, that are composing. And with all of that, we're actually getting our hands on a very unique data set. That is a data set of all the actions, all of these hundreds of agents have been taken for days and days and weeks without stopping or decisions that they have made, which strategies were better, which strategies were worse, which uh, prediction markets they have taken better decisions on, which prediction markets they have not. And well, this is going to inform our all the development that we're going to do from, you know, this now on, on the product side, on the agentic intelligence side. And yeah, this would have not been possible with the users uh, who deployed our agents. So, well, thanks to all the early supporters. Yeah, definitely, definitely, Daria. I think we need to thank the early reporters. They have been great. They have been showing great support. What we have been able to display is that even with, uh, you know, with a number of 110 agents deployed, the on-chain AI transactions is 110. Uh, K. That is, you know, I would say somewhere around each each agent is doing uh, more than a thousand transactions, and this is something which is huge in the space. And this is the step function that we have been calling out and and speaking in the Eterna X. So I'll wrap up now this uh, this short. Uh, I I would you know this is something that we wanted to bring out to the users that we have achieved this mark. Uh, so for everybody who are our users and listeners, uh, please click uh, and, and create. You'll find the uh, link in the description box. You can create and spin up an agent within 30 seconds and watch, you know, the agent work for you. And, and, and uh, you know, that's that's it. So thanks. Thanks all for joining us. And thank you. Thanks, uh, Daria, for uh for all the efforts that you have put in and really excited to see what, what you are bringing uh, new now after this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited as well. Let's see what's coming.